Are you ready to live boldly, full out, and on your terms? It's time to wake up, overcome your fears, and embrace uncertainty. Access your power and claim your dreams. It's time for Tuck Talk with Tuck Self, the Rebel Bell. Join us now for inspiring conversation and bold self-expression for living life full out and on your terms. Now here is your host for today's podcast, the Revolicious Tuck Self. Good morning, good sunny day, hello, it's Tuck, the revelist of bells coming to you from her home here in Columbia, South Carolina, less than a month, you guys, before I'm not here anymore, I'm going to be home free, moving, and Larry and I have no clue where it is that we're going for sure, so we are stepping off of that ledge and trusting that our wings will appear, but I wanted to come to you for another Tuck Talk time here in my home and share with you something miraculous and exciting that I got to participate in last week. So I'm going to ask you two questions first because these are questions that have kind of been going around in my mind myself and that is, have you ever found yourself in a time and a place where you actually had no idea how you got there? You were just gently and divinely guided to be there? And have you ever felt that in that divine guidance that you ended up in the right place at the right time with the right people. Well, that's what happened to me last week. Last week, I found myself at the annual 28th World Congress on Illumination with Patricia Cota Robles and 300 people from 21 different countries around the world. We came together in what we call, they called, she called the portal of precipitation that was above the Grand Tetons in Wyoming for six beautiful, powerful, and magical days. And prior to this event, you know, I'd heard of Patricia Cota Robles, I'd heard her name, but I didn't really have an experience of her. I had had conversations with people about the violet flame, about moving into the fifth dimension and moving into Christ consciousness. So I'd had those conversations, but I had never ever heard of this event. And so I found my way into this event as a support person for Simi, for Simran Singh, my Rebel Road pal and friend and sister who had been invited to participate as one of the presenters. And so it was only a week before we left that actually went to the internet and I googled and I checked out the event and I was absolutely gobsmacked, just gobsmacked at what my soul and my higher self had gently guided me to be a part of with no initiation and with no expenditure whatsoever on my part. It was amazing. It's just amazing. And so what I discovered was that this Congress has been meeting together now for 28 years. Now, sometimes Tucky asks herself if she's been living under a rock. I just, I'm, I'm gobsmacked sometimes. I guess that I don't know everything. Kind of just kidding. But for 28 years, Patricia Cota Robles and her partner Kay, together they co founded this nonprofit called the um, New Age Study of Humanity's Purpose. They have been bringing people together for 28 years from around the world for the purposes of unifying the family of humanity and fulfilling our divine plan. 28 years! And so last week, I found myself in this portal of precipitation. And not only did we bring in the light, not only did we hold the light, many, many, many things came to light. And one of those things that came to light, you all, was me. <laughs> At that gathering, there was a woman who stood up and she happened to share that when people come up to her and ask her what it is that she does in life, what do you do? Her response is, I shine. I just thought, what? What a phenomenal, what a great answer. What a great answer. I shine. And so, Tucky has decided that from this day forward, 
if people come to me and they say, so talk, what is it that you do? I am going to say, I shine. I shine like a freaking diamond. And I guide others to shine as well. Because I realized, I realized that as a coach and a mentor and as a teacher and as someone who's privilege to work with human energy design, the gene keys and the golden pathway that I get to gently and yet I'll say profoundly guide others to their light, to unleash their inner light into their genius so that they can shine and shine like a diamond. <laughs> you know, each of us is a shard of crystal. Each of us is a unique and individual crystal of energy and light with gifts and skills and talents and a genius to bring to light. And this genius is hidden in our DNA, just waiting to be activated. And our higher purpose is to unleash that hidden genius, unleash that hidden light, and to share it with the world. You know, we are meant to shine. We're meant to shine, I'll say, like a friggin' diamond. And so I'm going to... I'm going to take something on this week and I invite you to take it on with me and that is to shine your light and to share it with everyone that you meet this week to share your light share your joy share your exuberance for life and your love of life with every single person that you meet and so I'm going to do a little Petula Clark for you if you see me walking down the street, if you see me walking down the street, you know what? You might recognize the light. Yes, and I might recognize your light, but here's the question. Are we going to be able to handle the glare? Shine your light. Shine it like a diamond. I love you. Until we meet again.